Good evening, welcome live to ringside at the National Indoor Arena in Birmingham, England. A special warm welcome to everybody watching this, not only on Screen Sport all over Europe, but on SABC in South Africa. I'm David Brenner, sitting alongside me at ringside, the former undefeated featherweight champion of Europe, Jim McDonnell. Coming up in a short while, the main event of the night, Nigel Benn against Talani Sugarboy Malinga. But the first fight we have for you tonight is not at super middleweight, it's at flyweight. The unbeaten prodigy Prince Nassim Hamed against the Welshman Andrew Bloomer. Here comes Bloomer. Originally hails from Pontypridd in South Wales, and when you look at a record like that, sooner or later, by the law of averages, he's got to win one. Tonight could be the night against the flashy youngster from Sheffield. Heavily tattooed. Well, he looks a picture. We'll see if he fights like one. Now then, if you haven't seen Prince Nassim Hamed before, you are in for not only a treat, but something of a surprise. Not only is he a boxer, he is an acrobat, he is arrogant, and he is also rather good. Former Young England amateur international, two fights, two wins, two stoppages, just 18. A babe in arms, but with all the confidence and arrogance of youth. Managed by the old campaigner, Brendan Ingle. His family hails from the Yemen. Now domiciled in Yorkshire. There comes Brendan with the green Tamashanta. Looking very natty tonight, maybe he's just come off the golf course. Over the top rope. Where he goes. Our MC tonight is Alan Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Birmingham's National Indoor Arena. A special welcome now goes to all our viewers on Screen Sport in the British Isles, Sport Canal in Germany and Austria, Sportnet in Holland and Belgium, TV Sport in France and Switzerland, Prime Network in the United States of America, and live on SABC in South Africa, and Star Television throughout Asia. All your officials are appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control. This is a flyweight contest over six three-minute rounds. Introducing in the red corner with the white and the red stripe from Wales, Andrew Bloomer. And his opponent in the blue corner with the leopard skin shorts from Sheffield and Yemen, Prince Nazim Hamid. The kids are showing them. Today, Andrew Bloomer scaled eight stone eight pounds. Nazim Hamed eight stone two pounds. Your referee well, he's given away is Jim Pretty, six your pounds. Roy Bicknell. Which is a lot at flyweight. Bloomer, more a bantamweight, really, Jimmy. I'll tell you what, Dave. He's had ten fights. He's lost ten fights. Even if it had been the other way around and he'd had ten and one ten, I still think he'd have his work cut out against this great young prospect. Nassim Hamid, a real star of the future. Well, if you're a boxing purist, you won't like this lad, because he does nothing according to the book. He's unorthodox, he showboats a lot, but he's a hard hitter. Round one, scheduled for six. Hamed in the leopard skin, Bloomer in the white. The referee is Jim Pridding. And I'm sure Hamid will have his eyes focused on the ribcage of Bloomer, because he's a devastating little body puncher. Well, you saw Nassim Hamed start off 
Southpaw style, switch to Orthodox now, back to Southpaw. Yeah, he's a real British version of Hector Camacho. And Bloomer is mesmerised at the moment. You'll probably be thinking now that he's made a Bloomer taking this fight. <laughs> we saw Hamed's debut on Pro Box when he fought the very experienced Ricky Beard. Dropped him with a body shot. That was two rounds. Last time out, Sean Norman. That lasted two rounds. You know, this Nassim, he goes for all the tricks in the book. It's so relaxed. I think it's good to watch. He can fight as well. Dave, I'm going to ask you a question. What would you tell Bloomer to do if he gets through the opening round? Because how do you handle this young man? Fight your own sort of fight. Ignore what the other fella does. Although that's not easy. At the moment, Bloomer looks confused, and I can't really say I blame him. So do the audience. And they're not getting hit. Well, Bloomer has got an enormous advantage, both in height and reach and weight. As I said, six pounds at flyweight is a lot, believe me. At the moment, although he's, he's thrown one or two shots, Bloom, I don't think he's landed a glove on Hamad yet. Now, this young man, Nassim Hamid, yeah, he works in the gymnasium in Sheffield with the likes of Hell Bomber Graham and Johnny Nelson, so I'm sure he won't be worried about giving away a couple of pounds. For all his showboating, though, Dave, the kid can fight. Oh, he's a tremendous prospect. There's absolutely no doubt about that. Jim Pridding's telling him to cut out the showboating. Look at the damage on Bloomer's nose. Yes, he's already bleeding quite heavily from the nose, as the Welshman. <laughs> Hamed's round, no doubt about that. <laughs> Brendan Ingot, one of the most colourful charismatic managers and trainers in British boxing as a distinct stable style in the Brendan Ingle stable they're all individualist they're all a little bit quirky I guess you could say the entire stable's a little bit off the wall but it's successful my word is it's successful and you can see whatever he does in the ring he's not afraid to listen Jim no you know there's a time for play and there's a time for work and right now he's got his working cap on. I'm not talking about Brendan, I'm talking about Nassim. And you know, he's listening now, he's not he's not laughing and smiling with with his with his mentor. He's listening very carefully to the instructions being delivered. Second left, round two. Well, you can see a, a little graze as well on Bloomer's left temple. Bloomer from Wales and the white Prince Nassim Hamed. Originally from Yemen, now from Sheffield. Bit of a change, that, isn't it? In the leopard skin. He's a very strong young man, though, Nassim. He's um, it's not just uh, a showboat, he's got a lot of physical strength. Well, like I said, both his previous fights have ended in round two, and he's looking to do a job on Bloomer now in round two. He's certainly busking him up, Dave. Left, got him, and that's it. A third successive second round win. Here come the acrobatics, the arrogant swagger. Three fights, three wins, three stoppages, and three wins all in the second round. You can't argue with that. <laughs> you certainly can't. Loves the exposure, the loves the cameras, and rightly so. Well, you can, I don't know if you can make out what Nassim Ahmed's saying. He's saying, bring on Robbie Regan. Robbie Regan is the 
British flyweight champion. Whoops, there he goes again. A little bit of break dancing. <laughs> It'd be funny if he broke a leg one day, wouldn't it? Well, not funny, but some people might say it uh, would serve him right. Brendan English says, that's enough, son. Well, when you get a British champion like Robbie Regan, actually said in a paper recently that he'd like to fight Nassim, what can you say? That was after two fights. Well, after that enterprising opening, we shall take a short break. Join Jimmy Mack and me back up ringside in just a moment.